All right, welcome back to LearnWire. So the last video, we did a WordSeek review. It was a deep, deep dive. Um, there was some things that I didn't like, and I actually did uh, post on the AppSumo page um, about some of the things that I'm looking for uh, as far as the UI and so forth. Not quite ready to give up on the tool and you know refund it or anything like that. Uh, but I do want to see if we could get um, how to use the tool and if we can get some better content scores with this, right? Because we have this post right here and we have about 40 missing queries right here um, that are getting impressions right here. And I don't think this is the last 30 days. I think it's um, pulling the last, um, must be six months worth of data. So we ex exported that and we end up with a list over here, right? And this list is all of the potential 4,100 words that we can go in here. You could actually train a VA to go in and do all this uh, for this website right here. So really, really cool. Uh, but obviously we're not gonna optimize for hundreds of keywords just for this one article. Uh, but I am gonna take right over here, I went with I think number 10. So I went from 10 up, 10 impressions and up. So we're gonna take about, um, it says 53 words right over here and we're going to move this over to another sheet and then we have those words right over here. I've already cleaned it up. There was some that said 2022, 2021. You wanna do a quick glance through here um, just to see if there's anything that you want to remove. And then what we wanna do is I'm gonna go and we also pulled up, I found an old Neuron Writer post that I did actually use for this right over here. You can see this was from a really long time ago from what, seven months or seven or eight months ago. Um, right over here and it looks like we have a 56 right so no wonder why we're not really we have a lot more um, that we could do and of course we can use neuron writers features I did try to do some stuff in here that I haven't done before uh, which is I connected the Google search console and you can get there by clicking up here or you can get there by add from Google search console from keywords but when we click on that the unfortunate thing about this um, so it is going to do the last like oh this is actually going to do just from the last week uh, what kind of um, range but I'm going to go and just um, yeah it's I guess it's only going to let us go back um, for this month for four weeks save and reload uh, reload with defaults, save and reload. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here and click on that again. And then I'm gonna go to target um, keywords. And then we have all these keywords that showed up. It looks like we have about, oh, there's 128 now. Um, so what we can do is you can adjust the columns. I have just impressions right here. Um, if you want to click this column button over here, you can actually add the clicks in as well. But I'm not really interested in clicks. I'm really just interested in uh, impressions, right? So we have impressions and then we can go up here and look at what is getting the most impressions. This coincides with uh, WordSeek right here. So this is basically the data that we're getting over here in NeuronWriter. But the, you know, stay tuned because um, I'm trying to figure out a way that you know, we can't copy these, right? There's no way to copy these. We can export them and it's gonna end up in a sheet, but it's not gonna have um, comma separated or anything like that, but you would have to export this right over here. So we can kind of get to this data right here uh, based on the article over here. So, um, but I'm gonna go over here and just show you how, and a lot of you may not have NeuronWriter as well, and that's where maybe WordSeq will come in uh, handy as well. Okay, so we are gonna go and use um, maybe perhaps chat GPT. We'll come in here, we'll go to four and we will say, give me three H2 subheadings based on the terms provided. Give the optimal and useful subheadings going to write, then include as many of these keywords um, in the content you write. So give me three H2 subheadings based on the terms provided. Give the most optimal and useful subheadings for an article we um, we are going to write. Um, no, I don't want to do that because we don't want to write a whole article, right? So we want subheadings four um, to cover 
this is kind of a hard, I'm going to push pause real quick. Okay, perfect. So we did get it to write the content for us, right? We have the um, prompt over here with all the keywords. It did create the H2s and write all the content for us. Okay. So um, next, um, we need to somehow find a way to measure those keywords with this um, content to see, um, you know, if it included it or not. So I'm going to go and see if I can find a tool to do this. Okay, so welcome back. I went ahead and just did the manual work. Uh, it's been a while since I've done data entry um, like this, but um, I just spent the 15 minutes just doing it by hand because uh, the free tools are just going to tell you what your keyword density is, but it's not going to compare it to a list that you already have right here, right? So we told we had 50 keywords right here. Here's the content that came back from ChatGPT, and then we basically I marked an X if it and was found in here. I did a control F and just did the, you know, the good old uh, fashioned uh, find. And I put an X next to it if we found it and an N if it didn't find. So 20% uh, or 20 yeses and 30 no's. So out of 50 total keywords, 40% of them were found in the optimized new content using ChatGPT. I think that's pretty good. It'd be nice if it's 50%, but I'll take 40%. Uh, that's going to help us a lot. Um, and so what we would do is we would just basically take this content right here and we could actually, I just wanted you guys to, to know, and I kind of wanted to know for peace of mind that, you know, working through this process right here, you're not going to really be able to just take all these keywords and then go and um, just put them all in content right away. It's going to take time. Um, you might have better luck if you just take 10 at a time and go write one paragraph. But I think even then, um, ChatGPT is not going to include all 10. But I think that the smaller amount, uh, instead of taking 50 keywords, maybe try 25. Maybe we can get this percentage um, up to maybe 60, 70 or 80 percent. So that's what I would do if I um, do this again. But nonetheless, we still are going to optimize our posts using the new tool. I just wanted to see what the process would look like, right? So we have our new content right over here um, written in ChatGPT. And so we're going to go ahead and just copy this. Um, that's the content that I already pasted into that Google Sheet. But we'll copy that. We'll go in here. And we know that from previously we did have, um, and I just wanted to touch base one more time on this, that there is no way it would be, NeuronWriter would just be killer. I mean, it already is an amazing tool, but if they had a tick box right here where we could just click those and say, add to optimized keywords, right? Then when we come over here, we would be able to see a little thing broken out by Google search uh, console terms and it would automatically put them in here and then we could go and write content and feed them in here. There isn't really a way to do that. You've got to export it and do some manual work. That, that's totally fine. Nothing against doing manual work. You just saw me do that. But nonetheless, it's not uh, uh, you know, a one click button to do that. But we are going to make raise this 56 up right here. So we're going to go and I'm going to, I don't know why that there's actually, hmm, I don't know why that we even have this stuff right in here. That shouldn't be in there. That should be deleted. Kind of fix some of this up right here. This is an old post um, from a while back. So there's some funky stuff kind of going on in here, I think. But I'm going to go and clean this up the best that I can. Extra spaces that we have in here. Decent. Okay. So before the conclusion, we're going to come through here. I'm going to push return. And we're going to uh, paste this in. Place that's plain, plain text. And then I will come in here. Actually, I don't know if I need to do that. Actually, let's push back and let's just control V. Yeah, it pastes it in and it is a, it did not come off as a H2. So I'm going to go and just eat that part right there. I'm going to make this an H2 and we're going to go and see if we can get this uh, article more traffic and more rankings right over here. Um, let's go right over here. And then um, you're going to see go up and push save. So what's interesting guys is that those keywords are not part of the, um, how do I explain this? So the score did not go up. We just added all those keywords in here. And this is what Google search console is telling us that we are already ranking for and getting impressions for are a lot of the keywords that we just told it to uh, in here, but none of those keywords are right here. And this is going to, this is kind of proving to you that it depends on what tool you're using. We're using multiple tools now in a workflow process. And those keywords that this tool found for us, um, actually, and it's really just, this is a tool, but these are Google search console terms right here that are not 
part of, but this is what's really happening in real time and in real life. These are the ones that I'm getting impressions for and that um, Google thinks I should rank for, right? And so this information right here is even more powerful than Neuron Writer, um, if that makes sense, okay? So we took these keywords, we went and wrote it, we and then we put it into Neuron Writer, and I'm surprised it didn't go up a couple of points, but the only thing that would have made this go up is that if some of those keywords were part of the NLP keyword terms in here, and they obviously are not, okay? So that, um, so we're gonna cover all of our bases. We just, um, we just added in the Google search term, search console terms right here, okay? And then what we could do is if we add, I wanted to try to add those, right? So maybe, let's do this guys, maybe we manually add these. I've never tried this before, but maybe if we add these keywords in here, I'm just gonna add them all one line at a time, copy, and we go into Search Console and we paste all those and then push OK. Those terms are all added and then now are any of them going to turn green? Yes, some of them turned green, okay. But our score went way down, okay. So that's kind of interesting. Some of them turned green, but our score went way down. I'm just not really sure why the score went down. Um, uh, if you guys have done this before, let me know what you guys think. But we did add those keywords manually over here and we actually got a worse score even though we manually added those, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm wondering if I can actually undo that. I actually just wanna undo that. Okay, well I deleted all those and you have to delete them one at a time. I don't know what I'm doing guys, but uh, we did add the um, search console terms um, over here that we just wrote. I don't know why the score went from a 55 down to a 49. Maybe I had not refreshed the page or something. I'm not really sure, but we are gonna go through our process. We know that we added the search console terms. So then now I wanna go and see if we can boost this score up some more. So I'm gonna to go to the AI writing section and we're gonna to go to advanced. We're gonna add this uh, FAQ and then I'm gonna go in here and just say write for me. See if we can add 10 points on this article here. Um, I just learned something new about Neuron Writer, adding those terms in and then optimizing for them. It didn't change the score. It did not impact the score at all. So we just got, we just blew it out of the park and now we have a 70. So that's good. Looking good. And we're going to be good to go. So that's the power of Neuron Writer right there. But I do know that, um, you know, I'm a little bit surprised that with the content terms that when I added all those terms manually, right? And then it showed they did highlight green, but it did not change the score at all. And that is one thing that, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about. We should be able to manually add our terms, but it's going based off of its own research and its own research based on the uh, competitors top 10 or top 30, depending on what you have in your settings. But we've got a 70 right here. It's way better than any other um, competition. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna go and republish this, update the site, keep track of this and we'll come back. Of course, I'll be watching this and update you guys. So that's how I would use this tool um, right over here to gra uh, grab all these. I do like how it condenses it down and so forth. So it might be worth checking out WordSeek if you wanna go and check out WordSeek right here, it is currently on AppSumo. Uh, there'll be a link below. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of content where I'm just testing these tools out, doing deep dives and seeing what they're good at, what they're not good at, and then seeing how we can impact our rankings, right? So if you guys like this stuff, then make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.